All right, guys, I'm feeling a little ambitious today. This is my second video of the day. I want to do some gun cleaning here and uh, got my XDS 9mm. If you guys didn't see the review on this, check it out. But I got a lot of rounds put through this here firearm and I want to do a complete disassembly of the slide. I'm talking the extractor, take everything apart. And I got my Hornaday right here warming up, my ultrasonic cleaner with some Something new I've been using for tumbling my brass, and I'm going to try it out now for, for cleaning my firearm. I got this off of one of the forms for tumbling brass. I tried it, and it works really, really good on tumbling brass. It, it takes the drying time down to nothing because it's got polymer in it, and uh, the water just sheets off and it dries. But I'm using the Rain-X Concentrated Car Wash. This is what I'm using to tumble my brass, and I'm going to, I'm going to clean the firearm with it now and see how it comes out. But... We're going to come over here and we're going to disassemble the uh, XDS for the whole top slide. We're going to take it all apart. We're going to throw it in the ultrasonic. We're going to clean it and then we're going to reassemble it. And uh, Well, we'll lube it and then reassemble it. But this is just going to be a, a cleaning video on this. So we're going to get up close and we're going to take this apart. And then we're going to get it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, guys. First things first. It's the XDS 3.3 and 9mm. First thing we're going to do is make sure the firearm's clear. So we're going to take the mag out of it. Make sure there's nothing inside, which is nothing in there. Mag's out. Okay, we're gonna take it down. So you're gonna flip this up to 12 o'clock, bring it down to this home position, you're gonna fire it, and the slide comes off. Not too concerned about cleaning this, guys. This is all frog lube. It's just pretty much a wipe down, and uh, I'll refrog lube it. This isn't a big deal. We're not gonna strip this. So we're just gonna put that aside. We're gonna take everything apart on the slide. I wanna put this in the basket and the ultrasonic and get it all cleaned up. Cause like I said, I got well over a thousand rounds for this and it's, it's time for a cleaning. So let's take the guide rod out. That's nothing more than just pushing that back with your hand. That's out of the way. Take the barrel out. Which, the barrel is pretty clean guys with the frog lube. It stays pretty clean. As you can see, feed ramps nice and shiny. It's not too dirty inside. I actually picked up a bore light. So now I can actually put a bore light in there and show you guys what everything looks like. So, it's pretty clean inside, but we're going to give this a clean anyway. There's, there's parts of this that you just, you know, inside here, little nooks and crannies that you can't get to. So, take the barrel. There's the guide rod. Put these right here. Now, getting into this. This, this, is, where, this is where everything comes into play, what I'm talking about. You never want to clean a firearm like you would never want to just put this in your ultrasonic cleaner the way it is for the simple reason there's plenty of spots where water can be trapped and wherever you know you can trap water is isn't good you're gonna you know you're gonna take a chance of rusting up some parts so you want to strip everything that you can out of it so to take this apart it's it's not too complicated on the back part here on the very top you'll see that little indentation there you're gonna push in on that with your punch and then you're just going to slide down the back plate cover. That's going to pop off. Let me back this camera up, guys. This is, there we go. Now you're going to slide out your firing pin. This is your firing pin assembly. Which this is, you know, this is going to get cleaned as well. See, it's got, it's got some grunge on it. There's a little retaining clip in here that you got to slide back out of the way. And you can pop this apart. which we'll do that in a sec. All right, now, we got that off and apart. You still won't want to put it in there because you still got your firing pin block in here, your extractor, moisture can get trapped behind there and you take a chance of rusting it up or not working correctly. So we're gonna take it apart. You got a roll pin. There's a roll pin right in here, right next to it. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna drive this roll pin out Start tapping on it, it'll start to go. See that see that roll pin raised up there? Now I'm just gonna take my roll my roll pin uh, punch here and just keep tapping away on it. Don't go all the way because your firing pin block will pop out on you. So you want to get it close, put your finger over the firing pin block so you'll hold it. And then just drive that through. Now what you're gonna do here, got my pin out. Now I'm going to leave this in. This is this is holding the extractor in place and the firing pin block. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my finger 
over the extractor and the firing pin block at the same time and, pu and pull this out. And now slowly let everything go. Now what just happened here is you avoided this thing going flying up in the air and your extractor going flying and losing all your springs. So let me zoom in on this so you can see what's going on here. All right, let's see here. Now what I'm going to do is, is pull this extractor forward. This is very hard to do, guys, on camera. Because I got the camera on such a weird angle. But, as you can see, the extractor is all, it's all gummed up and dirty. You would, you would never get to clean that because you'll, you're never going to get in there. It's trapping the grease and moisture behind there. So you take that out. Here's the spring that goes, that goes to it. Put that with the extractor. Now here's your firing pin block, so you're just dangling up and down, just turn that over and that's going to fall out with the spring. And we'll put that over there. Now this, this slide, guys, is fully disassembled now. There could be no moisture trapped anywhere. Every hole is open. Every place for water that could get trapped will come out. So I'm not worried about trapping any moisture. I'm comfortable putting this in the basket and uh, going for it. The only thing I'm not taking out on it is the, uh, the loaded chamber indicator just because I don't really care about that thing if it works or if it don't. I know if there's one in the chamber and if I have to rely on that, I shouldn't be carrying a gun. But I mean, you can drive it out guys. It's just, it's just a roll pin, knock it straight through the side and, and you'll, you'll pop it out. But we're gonna get this all loaded up in the basket. We're gonna put it in the ultrasonic cleaner and, and see how it comes out. All right guys, I felt bad. I did take the, uh, <laughs> I did take the loaded chamber indicator out. And turns out it's a good thing I did because there's quite a bit of powder inside that channel. So I knocked the roll pin and took that out. There's a tiny spring under it and that's about it. So we're going to get our basket here. Now the springs I'm not going to put in there guys because they're too little and they'll fall through. And quite frankly we don't need to do the springs. The bigger springs I'll do. This is for the, uh, for the firing pin. So we'll put our firing pin, firing pin spring, the cover for it. And I'm not going to do a little retaining screw because that may fall through. I, I am going to do the loaded chamber indicator because it's pretty dirty on the sides. We'll throw that in the center there. Our extractor, that's all gummed up. That's going to go in the center where the holes are small. Our barrel. Our firing pin block, that'll go in the center where the holes are little so it'll hold it. And last but not least, our slide. So we got everything loaded that we need to uh, have loaded in. I'm not going to do the, uh, I'm not doing the, the, re the recoil spring. This I will just wipe down and I'll re-lubricate. There's no reason to put that in there. So this, let's go over here now to the ultrasonic. This has been warming up for a while. Water's nice and warm in there. We're going to take our basket with all our parts. And we're going to submerge that in there. I'm going to do a, let's see, a, we'll do a 10 minute cycle. We'll do a quick 10 minute cycle on it and see what we get. I can see powder already coming off of it. Let me see if I can get a shot of this guys. Let me take the uh, camera off of the tripod here. See if I can get you guys a nice shot of this. See the powder coming off? See all the residue coming out of that slide? Hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm going to get the cover back on that guy so it really gets some uh, some heat in there. Like I said, this is the first time I'm trying with the uh, first time I'm trying it with this particular car cleaner. So we'll see how it comes out. All right, so that's going to run. We'll come back and we'll get up close on the bench and see how clean the parts look. All right, guys, all the parts are out of the ultrasonic cleaner now. And I'm just going to let everything dry by the pellet stove. Well, let's take a look at the barrel. That feed ramp's like chrome and so is the inside. Let me put the, let me put my bore light so you guys can see how just clean this barrel is. This barrel is absolutely spotless now inside. Not that it was dirty because I shoot copper plated, but 
This thing is just incredibly clean. Look at the slide. Inside there where it was all full of powder, gone. Look inside there where the firing pin and everything goes, it's like, it's like brand new. This thing looks like it was just machined out of Springfield Armory. Look at it. All nice and clean. Still a little bit of moisture, guys. We're going to let this dry up real good before I reassemble it. Firing pin. It's like brand new. Not a shred of dirt on it. Spring. Uh, loaded chamber indicator. This was gummed up. The extractor. This was all full of, full of stuff before, guys. I was trapped behind there. This will all get a light coat of uh, frog lube and get reassembled in the reverse order that we took it apart. I'll show you guys how to put it back together in a little bit. Just going to let all this moisture dry out of it first. There's not much left in it. Like I said, I'm going to put it over by my pellet stove, let it dry off, and then we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll finish it up. Okay, guys, I'm comfortable with how this, uh, this is dried off now. This is good enough where we can reassemble it. So we're all good here on the slide. As you can see again, how perfectly clean it is. Where the firing pin goes, everything looks like brand new. This thing looks like it just came out of Springfield Armory's factory. We're gonna we're gonna frog lube it, but I'm just gonna reassemble this real quick for you guys, and then I'll I'll take my time when I do my frog lube process. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the uh, the loaded chamber indicator back in, and I'm just gonna take a dab on my finger of the liquid frog lube, and I'm just gonna give it a little just a little coat. Just rub it in there, nice. Give it a little, little coating of frog lube on there. Set that aside. Now we're going to take the little spring here. Down inside here, there's a little indent where the spring is going to live. So you're going to drop that down in there. And that spring is sitting towards the back. Let's see if you get a little better angle. The spring's in there towards the back. Now we're going to take the uh, loaded chamber indicator. Put that right over the spring and hold down on the back and then we're going to get our, our roll pin started. You got to find the hole, which I think I got it. And I just give it a little tap down like that and see if it gets started, which I believe it's not in far enough yet. <laughs> no, hasn't come through far enough yet, guys. So. That being said, we're going to just hit it. There we go. Now she's caught. And you can tell it's caught because the spring's doing what it's supposed to. Now we're going to finish driving in this roll pin. I'll take my thicker punch. Just go real easy and real careful. I'm not worried about the camera here, guys. I'm going to get the... I just want to drive this in without screwing my uh, firearm up. Just going to tap this in. I get it flush which she's almost there a little bit more guys we'll have this in and I'll be happy okay that's in it's not scuffed up it's not marred up working correctly they load a chamber indicator there all right so we're good there now what I'm gonna put in next is the uh, extractor and again I'm gonna give this a little coat of frog lube when I say little this stuff comes out pretty easy all right so we're just gonna get this all drizzled up in frog lube Set that aside, wipe my fingers off. Dab it up a little bit. You don't want it caked on there, but you want it on there. And then <clears throat> this bigger spring is going to sit down here in the side, just like so. And then this is going to go on. This is going to come in from the back side, but we're going to take our
We're going to take our firing pin block now next and sit, set this in place. Because this is kind of a two-part process, guys, that you got to do here. Sorry that you guys can't see this on camera, but it's kind of uh, it's kind of a dickhead to do. And to do it on camera is even harder. But we're going to put this back in here. And okay, we got that in there. I'm going to hold that with my finger as best I can. And we're going to bring the extractor over. And that should hold. Nope. It went flying out just like I didn't want it to. All right, guys, hang on. We're going to take a quick pause here because this is live TV and this is how this crap happens. And I don't, I don't want to lose any more parts. So let me grab this and we'll, we'll come back to it. All right, guys, with the stroke of luck, I did find it. So again, we're, we're still back at the uh, loaded chamber indicator. It's working properly. That's in. We've already frog lubed our parts. So let's try this again. Take your small spring, that's going to sit down in here for your extractor. Alright, now you got to take this here spring, goes down in this here hole for the uh, firing pin block. Set that on top. Now like I said, you got to hold this so it doesn't go flying. This is the part where it gets tricky. Now we're going to take our extractor again, let's try and do this without Make it go flying across the room again like we just did. And we're going to put this in. Get this lined up. Get it over the spring. If you push it down and hold it, your firing pin block won't go flying. But you have to get your roll pin started now. And this comes out from the top, so you got to kind of do this as best you can. Get this here started. If you get it caught. All right, guys, I got it caught. See it sticking up? So my extractor is in. Let's verify that our firing pin block is working. Our firing pin block is working, so that's being captured by this extractor. So now what we're going to do is... We're going to take our, our bigger punch and we're going to work this, this roll pin down. Just keep tapping it down until you get it flush. Okay, that's flush. See our extractor is in there now? It's incorrectly. Our firing pin block. Right here, spring's working correctly. See our extractor, right there. And that's gonna rock, that's, I'm putting pressure on it, that works correctly. Okay, we're gonna put our firing pin in next. That just slides down in the hole. This is very dry, I'm just putting this together for, for purposes of the video, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna frog lube this after we're done. But, now we'll take the, uh, Push down on that here, and then we're just going to take the rear cover that slides in like so. Cover that up and throw your barrel in. Take your recoil spring, your firearm, slide it back on. Your uh, <clears throat> your takedown pin, put it back to the nine o'clock position. Send it home. Fire it. I think it's racking nice, it's firing, so it's a complete it's a complete weapon again. Firearm again, I hate to say weapon, I don't like to use that word. Alright, let's take it back down. 12 o'clock. Look at how clean that is, guys. It's like brand new. Every single orifice of this was clean. This, you know, like I said, this had well over a thousand rounds. This was long overdue. I'll put it down in my logbook that I had a major overhaul. I'm going to refrog lube this, guys, and uh, and get it finished up. All right, guys, hopefully this helped you guys out. Anybody wants to do a full slide disassembly and cleaning to their XDS, this will also work for the uh, XDS 45, which I'm carrying. It's the same firearm. I'm going to strip this one down next because this one's well overdue for uh, heavy-duty cleaning. 
But that's it guys, that's a complete strip down, breakdown of the uh, slide, how to take it apart and how to clean it. So if you got any questions or comments on the XDS, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching the Total Outdoors with the Yankee Cowboy.